Hi. Hola. Welcome back to Witches of the Moon. I am the Humble Apprentice, your Friday host. This is season 12, week 4, and this week's topic is altars, their uses and types. There are a lot of different types of altars for various uses, for various practices. For me, an altar is a space where I go to do spiritual work, to work on my craft, to work on the things that are important for my spiritual practice. I work with several types of altars. My main uh, altar or my working altar is in one room and it's on the north wall. It's rectangular and I work from one side of the altar. I also have an outdoor altar that I love to work with in the summer and the uh, spring when the weather permits whenever possible. It's one of my favorite spaces to perform ritual. It is rectangular, but because it's in an outdoor space, I can walk around it and it helps raise the energy in the space uh, with the ability to move and you're not static. Decorating the altar for the seasons isn't something that you have to do. I do like to do it because I believe it helps remind you of what's going on around you uh, with the plants, with the season, with the earth, decorating it with spring flowers reminds you of you know the new beginning and the new life and the changes and the reawakening of springtime and the feeling of hope and change and growth in the summer um, having all the flowers and plants and herbs and fruits available that you can use to uh, place on your altar also makes you feel alive and abundant and how the earth is um, ripe with uh, fertility at the moment in the fall with the harvest and the greens and the different types of fruits and vegetables available reminds you also of preserving and putting things away, saving for the upcoming uh, winter season. Decorating the altar for me isn't just about making it look pretty and changing things. It's about connecting with what's happening around me, um, around the, the planet and my community to remind me of what I should be focusing on in my spiritual practice and in my life. Another type of altar that you can have outdoors is a fairy altar for the, the wee folk, the fair folk. I try to keep it natural and made of natural materials. I put honey in leaves and I leave it out not inside the space, but on the outside, because eventually after they, the fey extract the essence of the honey, then nature will come and uh, transform it and recycle it and use it. Another type of altar is the ancestor altar. I grew up in a Catholic home, so our tradition is that after a loved one or a, a relative or a loved one passes away, we would put a picture in the living room on top of one of the tables or a stand and uh, put some candles around it and pray for nine days. So all the relatives and friends would come to the house and pray the novena 
with a novena for nine days and reminisce and support each other uh, through the loss. And it's to help the transition of the spirit, the soul of the departed to give them light in the darkness. We didn't call it an ancestor altar and it's not a designated space for an ancestor altar. It's like a temporary space that works where everyone can see and remember the person being honored. Now it's traditional to have a, a working ancestor altar where you commune with your ancestors and ask for guidance. You can also have your traveling altar and that can be you know small little items that represent you know your larger altar pieces you can have as many things or as few things as you need to perform a ritual while you're traveling you can also have an altar for a specific deity one that you uh, want to focus your energy and intention and workings on or with maybe someone new that you don't want to put on your main altar yet someone you want to get to know get you know work with a while before putting them on your altar or someone that you want to give extra attention to give them their own space you know you can have altars for the elements outside for air fire water and earth you can have elemental altars inside your home the intention is the most important thing how can you invoke the energy of that element into the altar space into the space that you've given to that energy those are the altar types that i use in my practice if you have any questions on any different type of altar please leave a comment below and i will do some research and get you an answer thank you very much for watching i'm the humble apprentice your friday host here on witches of the moon have a good evening and blessed be